don't forget to check out the official Commander Guys Discord server. It's the best way to stay in touch with the community, our players, and Devin and I. If you want to support the channel, you can do so directly over on our newly revamped Patreon, and join Morello here in this list. Alternatively, you can support us at no additional cost to yourself whenever you make a purchase over at TCG Player. Simply start any purchase you want to make by clicking our affiliate link down in the description, and a portion of your total price will go back to the channel. Thanks as always for your support. Hey everyone, it's Matt here, and welcome back to another Commander Guys gameplay video. Devin and I are planning on doing a Q&A session here soon, and that's where you guys come in. If you have any questions at all about the two of us, the channel, or pretty much anything really, feel free to leave them down in the comments, and once we have enough, we'll sit down and talk them out. As far as this week's game, we have a creature-heavy lineup, featuring a new look at some classic archetypes. So let's not waste any more time, and go ahead and jump straight in to player introductions. First off this week, we have Danny playing Trin, Champion of Freedom, and Silvar, Devourer of the Free. This is Human Tribal, and Danny's looking to aggressively build a board state to either go tall with Silvar or wide with his humans. Danny kept the Champion of the Parish, Cathar's Crusade, Mentor of the Meek, Pitiless Plunderer, Rakdos Signet, Savai Triome, and a Plains. Next comes Devon, playing Nakara Lair Scavenger and Yannick Scavenging Sentinel. This is an Abzan plus one plus one counters deck, which is looking to aggressively pump Devon's board, while also using Nakara to disincentivize his opponents from board wiping. Devon kept Avon Mind Sensor, Avacent's Pilgrim, Soul Ring, Sun Titan, a Swamp, a Forest, and a Plains. Then we have Spencer, playing Damia Sage of Stone. Spencer wanted to make a cycling deck, but he didn't want to play Gavi, so he ultimately decided to run Sultai Cycling with Damia. He kept Growth Spiral, Dread Return, Migration Path, Neutralize, Wilt, a Forest, and an Island. Finally, we have Michael playing Goreclaw, Terror of Calcisma. Michael's Goreclaw is a mono green storm deck, which focuses on rushing out his commander before using its cost reduction to storm off. Michael kept Uvenwald Hydra, Wood Elves, Growing Rites of Itlamok, Ronus's Monument, Nykthos Shrine to Nyx, and a pair of Forests. Danny starts us off. He drops a Savai Triome tapped, and passes his turn. Devon drops a Swamp, and casts a Soul Ring, before passing as well. Spencer drops an Island, and then Michael closes out round one with a Forest. Danny drops a Plains, and casts a Champion of the Parish, before passing off. Devon drops a Forest. He casts his Commander Nikara, and follows it up with an Avacent's Pilgrim, before passing off as well. Spencer also drops a forest. He casts a growth spiral and draws a card before declining to put in a land and passing turn. And then Michael closes out round two in the same way as round one. Danny casts a Rakdos Signet. He hits Michael for one in combat and misses a land drop before passing off. Devin drops a plains. He casts Archangel of Thune and then moves to combat. He swings Nakara at Michael and passes as well. Spencer cycles Neutralize, and manages to hit an island for his third land drop. And lacking the mana to do anything else with his turn, Spencer passes off. Michael drops a third forest. He freecasts once upon a time, and reveals Dryad of the Elysian Grove with its effect. He follows up with the Wood Elves, and goes to bring in a Dryad Arbor with its ETB. Michael then passes off. Danny casts a Faithless Looting, and draws two before discarding both Pitiless Plunderer and Cathar's Crusade. He casts Thalia's Lieutenant, and adds two counters to Champion of the Parish as the Lieutenant's ETBs. <music> Danny 
He moves to combat and hits Spencer for three, but not before Spencer cycles away a Frostvale vale ambush to draw a card. Finally, Danny misses another land drop and passes turn. Devin drops a Plains. He casts a Bitter Blossom and moves straight to combat. He swings Archangel of Thune at Michael, Nakara at Danny, and Avacyn's Pilgrim at Spencer. Damage happens, and Devin gains 3 from Lifelink, which in turn adds a plus 1 plus 1 counter to each of his creatures thanks to Archangel of Thune. And in his second main phase, Devin casts his other commander, Yannick. He exiles Avacyn's Pilgrim as Yannick ETBs, and adds 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters to Yannick, before drawing a card and losing a life from Nakara. And with that, Devin moves to end step and passes off. Spencer casts his own copy of Wood Elves and uses its ETB to bring in an untapped forest. He then drops a tapped Temple of Malady and scries away a card, before passing off once again. Michael drops Nykthos Shrine to Nyx. He casts Ronus' Monument and follows up with Elysian Caryatid. Monument triggers on that cast, and Michael stacks the trigger onto Wood Elves. He then moves to combat and hits Danny for three, before passing turn. Danny casts a Talisman of Indulgence. He misses yet another land drop and passes off again, as Devin loses a life and makes a fairy on his upkeep. Devin then drops a Swamp and casts an Angel of Finality. As the Angel enters, Devin exiles Spencer's graveyard before moving to combat. He swings Yannick and Nakara at Michael and his Archangel at Danny, and then gains four from Lifelink before adding another plus one plus one counter to all of his creatures. Devin then passes off. Spencer casts a circuitous route, and in response, Devin flashes in an Avon Mind Sensor. Spencer then searches the top four cards of his library for up to two lands or gates and unsurprisingly fails to find. He then misses a land drop for turn and passes off a bit defeated. Michael casts Goreclaw. Monument triggers on that cast, and he stacks it onto Wood Elves once again. He follows up with an Oracle of Moldiah, and once again puts his Monument trigger onto his Wood Elves, but it's kind of irrelevant because Michael skips through combat and passes turn. Danny drops a Plains and passes off once again. Devin loses a life and creates a fairy on his upkeep, before playing a swamp for turn. He then moves straight to combat and swings Nikara at Spencer, Archangel of Thune at Michael, and Yannick at Danny. And in response to those attackers, Danny casts to call the Coppercoats, paying the strive cost, to target both Devin and Michael. Danny creates a total of 11 1 1 soldiers, and also adds 11 counters each to Thalia's lieutenant and champion of the parish. Danny then double blocks Yannick with the Lieutenant and Champion. And after damage happens, Devin draws a card and loses a life from Nikara, before returning his Pilgrim from its long journey and adding a plus one plus one counter to each of his creatures from Archangel of Thune. In his second main phase, Devin casts a Midnight Reaper and passes turn. Spencer casts Drakehaven. He cycles away Razaketh's right and draws a card, before paying a mana into Drakehaven to create a Drake. He drops his Agoth Triome, and unable to do much else this turn, Spencer passes off. Michael casts Soul of the Harvest and stacks Monument's trigger onto Goreclaw. He then activates Nykthos and uses some of that mana to cast Silvala, Heart of the Wilds. He draws a card from Soul of the Harvest and then remembers to stack Monument's trigger onto Goreclaw once again. Michael then follows up with an Uvenwald Hydra and grabs a Forest Tapped from the top four cards of his library. He then draws from Soul of the Harvest and plays the Forest that he drew for turn. Next comes a Growing Rites of Itlamok, and Michael reveals a Karametra's Acolyte as it enters. Michael then reveals a Forest from top deck and plays it as a second land for turn. He moves to combat and swings Goreclaw at Devon, which pumps itself on that attack. Devon blocks with Avacyn's Pilgrim, and then 9 damage tramples through. A creature with a counter also left play, so Devon loses a life and draws a card from Nikara. As Michael moves to end step and transforms Growing Rites into Itlamok Cradle of the Sun. Danny drops another Plains. He casts Mentor of the Meek, which triggers both the Lieutenant and Champion, as Devon remembers his damage and draw from Midnight Reaper. Danny follows up with Alesha who smiles at death and triggers both Lieutenant and Champion again. 
he moves to combat and swings champion at Devon and lieutenant at Michael. Devon and Michael each chump block though, and then Devon loses a life before drawing a card from Nikara. And unable to do anything else at this point, Danny passes off. Devon creates another fairy on his upkeep. He shocks in a godless shrine and casts a soul warden. He follows up with Luris of the Dream Den and gains a life from Soul Warden as it enters, which in turn adds a plus one plus one counter to each of Devon's creatures thanks to Archangel of Thune. Devon follows up with Thalia Heretic Cathar, which triggers both Soul Warden and Archangel again. Devon then uses Luris's ability to cast Avacyn's Pilgrim from his graveyard, before triggering both Soul Warden and Archangel once again. And as Spencer notes this, Getting a little out of hand now. Um, I'm trying to protect myself. <laughs> well, whatever. Oh, you're the monster. <laughs> He's gonna be the monster here in a second. Devon moves to combat and swings Angel of Finality and Avon Mind Sensor at Danny, while also swinging Archangel of Thune at Michael. After damage, Devon gains life from Lifelink and adds even more counters to his board as he passes off to Spencer. Spencer cycles Ominous Seas and pays in a mana to create a tapped Drake, before drawing a card. And as he does so, Devon gains a life from Soul Warden and puts another plus one plus one counter onto each of his creatures. Spencer cycles again and repeats this process. And as Devon pumps his board, Spencer misses another land drop and passes off to Michael. Michael plays a forest from top deck. He casts Nylea and draws from Soul of the Harvest as Devon gains a life and pumps his board once again. Michael then remembers Nylea entered tapped, and also to stack Monument onto Uvenwald Hydra. Michael then casts a Fierce Empath, which enters tapped and causes Michael to draw a card as Devon triggers his board once again. Michael then looks at the top four of his library from Fierce Empath and fails to find a relevant creature. So he then casts a Regal Force and, oh look, Devon's stuff triggers once again as Michael draws from Soul of the Harvest and then draws 10 more from Regal Force entering. Next comes Kamal, and Michael draws from Soul of the Harvest as Devon triggers his board yet again. Michael then plays the second land for turn and follows up with a Primordial Sage. He draws from Soul of the Harvest as Devon's board triggers yet again. Next comes a Regal Behemoth, and Michael draws on cast, draws on ETB, becomes the Monarch, and also triggers Devon's board. Michael finally reveals some top deck removal and casts Vorinclex, before drawing two and triggering Devon's board again. Michael uses the Beast Within he drew to destroy Avon Mind Sensor, and Devon draws two and loses two, before creating a 3-3 Beast, which triggers his board once again. Michael then casts Galta and draws two more, as Devon triggers his board yet again. Then comes the Summoner's Pact, which Michael uses to grab Crater of Behemoth to hand. Michael then follows up with a Nissus Pilgrimage, and goes to put in a Forest Tapped, while putting a pair of Forests to hand. Then comes Green Warden of Marasa, and Michael draws two, while triggering Devon's board yet again. Michael returns Beast Within to hand as the Green Warden enters, and is finally able to Beast Within Soul Warden while also giving Devon another Beast. Michael then casts Garruk Unleashed and upticks him, targeting Uvenwald Hydra, before casting a Stonehoof Chieftain and drawing two more. Michael then activates Salvala and adds a total of 32 green mana, some of which he uses to cast a Primal Command, which he in turn uses to put God Eternal Ronus to hand while giving Danny 7 life for the hell of it. Michael then casts an Avenger of Zendikar and creates 13 zero one plants, while remembering his multiple monument triggers and his two draws. Next comes a Crater of Behemoth, which triggers Monument, while also causing Michael to draw two. And as it ETBs, Crater Hoof gives Michael's creatures plus 32, plus 32, and trample until end of turn. It's not quite enough though, so Michael follows up with God Eternal Ronus, which triggers Monument, while also giving Michael two more draws. Ronus's trigger then resolves and doubles the power and toughness of Michael's creatures while also giving them vigilance. And deciding that still isn't enough, Michael activates Kamal three times to give his creatures an additional plus nine plus nine and three more sources of trample. Good god, man. Michael then moves to combat and swings Uvenwald Hydra and Soul of the Harvest at Devon while swinging Gorklaw at Spencer and Oracle of Moldiah at Danny. Goreclaw triggers on that attack and gives his creatures an additional plus one plus zero and like their eighth or ninth source to trample at this point. 
And after a good amount of combat math, we find out that Michael has more than enough to eliminate everyone at once and walk away with the win. So that's going to do it for this week. Thanks as always to our players for being a part of this game. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and make sure to subscribe to see more of our Commander content and to help us reach our goal of 5,000 subs by the end of the year. You can also support us over at Patreon and join this list here. Thank you to Morello for your support so far. Alternatively, you can start any order you make at TCG Player by clicking our affiliate link down in the video's description. If you do, a portion of your total price goes directly towards supporting the channel at no additional cost to you. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm working on a little something for Double Masters, so make sure to keep an eye out for that. I'll see you back here next week with another gameplay video. And as always, thank you for watching. If you survive this, I will concede.